So here's part one of the mini-series, how to find an HMO. And um, I'll purposely come outside. Got the street going up there. There you go, you can see, you can see where we are. Uh, first thing to talk about when finding HMO is it's a very specific house that you're looking for. Um, I would always advocate trying to find a house that's a little bit run down. Uh, buy it as cheap as you can, do it up to create some equity. But if you're intent on putting an HMO together, let me, uh, I'll squeeze past going to the kitchen, cheers. Yeah, if you're intent on putting an HMO together, you've got to find the right house, haven't you? Um, and it might be that, and certainly in this area here, the right house, there just aren't many of them. So there are probably three or four broad areas in, in this area, in this town, city, there are three or four areas where it works. And at that point you think, well, maybe only five or six streets in those areas where the houses are big enough. Generally speaking, the houses have to be a little bit bigger. And at that point, there's only three houses for sale. And maybe only one of them's suitable for that. So you almost certainly will have to give up a little bit of the um, equity gain, the margin in buying it cheap and, make, and, and adding value if you're looking to put an HMO together. Simply because, you won't find many of the houses. You might get lucky, but if you really want to put an HMO together and that's the house in the street and that's the price, sometimes you look at it and think, you've just got to pay for it. We will always try and get a property that you can fit at least five or six bedrooms. Um, every now and again, we do one that's a four bedroom. We'd call that a minimo. It has to be significantly cheaper than the, 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 the figures just have to work. And I think twice about making that your first, first project. Uh, again, we think twice about doing anything over six bedrooms as well. So as soon as you're going to seven, eight, nine bedrooms, um, lots of things change. Planning permission might change. Uh, supplies, you know, utilities, getting the right amount of electricity. Water is quite a big one. Making sure you've got the right amount of water in the property. Um, fire regulations can change, as can the sound and um, noise tra transfer reg regulations, or building regulations. So. Think twice. If I was going to give you some advice uh, just for the first properties to find, make it a wider property, a uh, wider terraced house, you know, like this one. I, we'll, we'll do a little uh, walk around. Four or five bedrooms, sorry, five or six bedrooms, uh, and make sure that um, as many en suites as possible. Make sure you can fit in as many en suites as possible. Ideally, all en suite. The property I'm in at the moment is all en suite. Uh, and no more than two people sharing. So, good luck, get out there, go look, go try and find the HMO rooms, and I'm gonna move on to the uh, second part of the H HMO uh, mini-series, how to fix the HMOs.